Sirius Pack Summer Camp 2014. We're really looking forward to your attendance, pup, and it's going to be a lot of fun. There's a few simple things you can do that can really make sure that it's a lot of fun for you. I just consider this to be good behaviour to follow in pack meets or, or camps or any time you're gathered together as a whole group of pups. Begin it up here by yourself before you even go to camp or your pack meet or out for the night to play with other pups. You can reinforce your positive attitude, you can reinforce your, your openness towards the pack and towards other pups by taking a moment to think of the pack, all of its members, not just the ones you like really but other ones too. Think of all of its members in a calm and relaxed fashion. Imagine each pack member in a happy, calm, friendly way. And you've got to start with the right attitude and right in your head straight away. When you are with the other pack members, when you are with other pups, be attentive to your experience of stress. So take note of situations which stress you, can cause you a bit of anxiety. Work with your master, your owner, to avoid or change the circumstances so that you can reduce stress that comes from these circumstances. Putting it simply, just avoid shit that's going to upset you. Pay attention to any negative thinking that your mind conjures up. When you're surrounded by other pups and you've only got your interpretation of behaviour coming as a pup, sometimes that human self can be really unhelpful. Gently but firmly set aside any negative talk that comes into your head, any negative self-talk about you or about others, and focus instead on the present moment of what you're doing in a positive, in a, a good way. One of the things you can definitely do to help your body and to help you be calm and relaxed and making sure that you're not stressed or building up, winding yourself up, is every hour or so, take a moment to stretch and walk about a bit. Get up from all fours, just go for a walk as a person. Just stretch your body out, have a little brief walk for a few minutes and breathe deeply. Just let your body relax, just like that. It's not hard. Just doing that will really help you. Practice the smile. Now everyone can go like that. I, really, I look goofy, I know. But there's a thing called a half smile. And the half smile is going to be your best friend amongst other pack members when you don't have your hood on. It goes simply like this. Just a calm, happy, half smile. Not a full, but just a and just to let your half smile be on your face as your default expression because you'd be surprised of the all kinds of goofy expressions people can have but if you all practice having a bit of a half smile everybody feels welcome and everybody feels hey I can interact with that fellow pup it's an openness of manner that really makes it easier for other pups and your even owners and trainers to approach you. So if you feel any resistance from negativity trying to make a half smile as in, hmm, well, it's just a bit hard right now because dismiss it and focus on that half smile. Of course, at a pack meet, it's very important or at any pup play experience, it's very important to show respect for your master. Show respect for personal property of your master and of anyone else. And be mindful of how you behave. So it's pretty straightforward. Be respectful and don't act like a dickhead. If you're going to, if you're suffering any form of distress and you feel like you've got to go off, 
inform your sir or your alpha about how you feel and if you haven't sorted that out by yourself and you've reached that point you need to withdraw let you need to let your sir or your alpha know uh, your master your owner or trainer does need to know how you're doing of course it's all about the fucking well that's a bit full on but seriously sex and pup play they are related and you're going off to play as a pack or to a pack meet or a camp you uh, probably aren't expecting to be celibate or chased for the entire time the key to your good behavior here is to be sexually available not sexually demanding so use your behavior to indicate that you're open to a sexual approach and you're open for some sex when you feel that way but don't be annoying don't throw yourself at people or don't uh, get into their personal space in unwanted intrusions and and the worst thing you can possibly do is waltz around begging for anybody to fuck you um, nobody wants a demanding bottom so be open when you feel like it be sexually available but don't be demanding finally follow the directions at all times follow the directions of your master or your owner and trainer of your sir and your alpha to ensure that everything gets done and everyone is safe a camp or a meet there's undoubtedly going to be a couple of objectives to achieve you can help do that by making sure that you follow those clear directions. I hope you really enjoy Sirius Pup Summer Camp for 2014. I know I'm looking forward to it.